thank you for watching. This episode is going to be showing the difference between integrated graphics, the GT545, and the GTX 660 Ti. My current setup is the R1 Alienware X51, and I bought that with the GT545 graphics card already on board, and the uh, the the i7 3770. When I purchased this machine, I was pushing six gigs of RAM, and I've since upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM. Now here I'm shooting footage for the next Daisy Journals episode, and. You can see on the left side of the screen it integrated graphics running at 20 frames per second and that's just topped out at 20 frames per second. So as we all know with DayZ we get low frame rates at times and this is definitely happening while I'm playing here for sure. I'm probably running around between 14 and 20 frames per second, maybe even all the way down to 10 at times. And on the right I'm maxing out at 60 frames per second. and the GTX 660 Ti does great on this game, but I'm not always at 60 frames per second. I don't think I usually hit any lower than 45 frames per second, though. So, the differences that I'm seeing in basically how either one handles it is basically, you can see on the right, it's much smoother. Uh, if you look on the left in this and how I'm running now, I mean, you can see how the how the grass and how the buildings and how everything is moving much smoother. My character is moving smoother as well. On the left side it's a lot more flat surfaces, not so much texture on the character. And uh, he's very, he's like kind of blurry, his legs are blurred. Because they're supposed to be some, you know, I guess uh, because he's running, you know, there's a blur to it. But you don't really see that so much on the right side with the 660 Ti and the grass and just basically a lot of detail in the surroundings is what I'm seeing the main differences in. Now you guys, because YouTube only allows me to upload videos at 30 frames per second, you aren't really seeing the full effect of what the GTX 660 Ti is doing compared to the integrated as much so what you guys are seeing is more like 30 frames per second on the right and you're still seeing 20 frames per second on the left so there's still a difference there there's still a noticeable difference even with that 10 frames per second addition and as far as differences go with the mod version of daisy i'm seeing a lot more detail yet again uh, on the character as well as shadows. If you look at the shadows on the left, they're kind of uh, they're boxy at times and they're jagged. Where you see right there on the left, I don't know if you've caught that, but they're very jagged. And if you look on the right side where there's shadows, they're nice and smooth. And there's textures on the walls are nice and smooth. It looks like stone. The entire environment is just the detail has gone up, you know, a hundred percent. It's, it's like if you've gone through your life and you needed glasses and you didn't ever have glasses, and, you know, you didn't realize you needed glasses, and then one day you wear glasses for the first time, and now all of a sudden, you know, you can see stuff. That's, that's the best way to explain, you know, what this is like going from something so low end to, to a, you know, a much better graphics card. I cannot stress enough how awesome it was to be able to play Battlefield 4 on ultra settings and still get 60 frames per second, even when recording. So that was phenomenal because playing with the 545, uh, I had to use a low end to very, I mean, maybe m like low medium settings. And, you know, I mean, while it worked, you know, it was definitely still enjoyable to play and everything. The amount of detail that there is compared to the, you know, 660 Ti is just insane. Uh, th there's like shine from the gun and on your on your gloves from the sun that 
you don't get with the lower graphics card and the high frame rates matter again it's definitely a shame that you don't get to see that difference but just know this that if you're thinking about getting a better graphics card than what you have you're gonna have a very very pleasant surprise when you actually see it for yourself on a good monitor it is worth it to upgrade it's gonna affect the way you play your game you might be faster you might see things better you might be better at shooting targets off in a distance I noticed that I was having really good games suddenly when I'm not gonna lie I do have quite a bit of awful games but upgrading seemed to help I hope you found this video informative and if you did please take the time to click that like button and click the subscribe button as well I soon will get back to releasing actual gameplay videos and things uh, like another Daisy Journals episode very soon. And thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.